Welcome to this brief overview video of MediaWrist Unleashed. MediaWrist Unleashed is a standalone Apple Watch app that allows you to control media devices over Bluetooth LE MIDI. You launch it by tapping its app icon and it will load the default factory preset with a list of buttons that each lead to a panel with specific controls. Let's take a look at the first panel, which is the knobs panel. Here you will see four knobs that you can control with the digital crown. Any number of knobs can be selected simultaneously to send out those message messages at the same time. You also have buttons in the corner that can optionally be hidden and they allow you to toggle MIDI messages on or off or also be temporary so that they automatically release when you lift your finger. The next panel shows buttons in the center area. The third panel shows that you can rearrange the configuration of any of these controls to either be knobs or buttons. Then we have an XY pad where you can go right for the X axis and upwards for the Y axis and control two independent MIDI signals with just a swipe of your finger. The motion panel allows you to move around and use rotation of your arm and wrist or even acceleration to control MIDI devices. The next one is a stepper panel. This lets you focus on one particular message and you can step through with big minus and plus buttons, specifically for program changes. You can also press and hold to automatically advance and as you press longer, it goes faster. The digital crown can also be used to go to specific locations faster but still have precise control over each individual value. And then finally, we have a transport control panel. This connects directly to your DAW or a device that understands MMC or MCU transport messages. You can play, stop, record, pause, rewind or fast forward, and even use the digital crown to scrub through your timeline. Any of these panels can be deleted or rearranged, and you can create new ones. Let's say that we create a button panel with only two controls and you will see it appear here. The MIDI messages that will be sent out, the color of your control, the type of control, the label, even the minimum and maximum values of these controls can all be configured. But we'll take a look at that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.